At a recent appearance in a tech conference, Hillary Clinton claimed that she inherited nothing from the DNC. Take a look. So I'm now the nominee of the Democratic Party. I inherit nothing from the Democratic Party. What do you mean nothing? I mean it was bankrupt. It was on the verge of insolvency. Its data was mediocre to poor, non-existent, wrong. I had to inject money into it. This is the DNC. The, the DNC to keep it going. So again, immediately it just comes off like she's trying to blame everybody else but herself for her loss. And now the important thing to take note there is that she said after she became the nominee and then she inherited nothing from the Democratic Party. But she kind of left out the part where she inherited the nomination from the DNC. Now, many of us already know that the, the primaries were rigged against Bernie Sanders and in favor of Hillary Clinton, but many don't know. So I'm going to go over some points to show how much Hillary Clinton actually did inherit from the DNC. And it starts at the top. So Debbie Wasserman Schultz was chair of the DNC. She ran the Democratic National Committee. Now, who is Debbie Wasserman Schultz? So in 2008, Debbie Wasserman Schultz was the co-chair of Hillary Clinton's 2008 campaign. And then shortly thereafter, she became chair of the DNC. So right off the bat, there is a clear conflict of interest against anybody running against Hillary Clinton. Because when you have someone who is a close friend of yours, who you worked with in 2008, and who you wanted to become president in 2008, and now you're running the DNC, which is supposed to be, by their own admission, a neutral force. They're supposed to help every candidate equally, but with Debbie Wiseman Schultz at the head of it, they didn't. But that's a, that's a big claim to make without any actual proof. You could say, sure, her friend's running the DNC, but you don't have any proof that, that she actually helped Hillary in the primaries. Well, let's just go through a few points. So let's start with the debate schedule. The debates were specifically designed to, to help Hillary Clinton. Because if there's one thing that's clear about when Hillary Clinton runs for office, it's that the more time people get to see her and hear what she has to say, the less popular she becomes. So right off the bat, there were half or a fraction of the amount of the debates than the Republicans had. Three of the first four debates were scheduled on weekends. One of those were scheduled during a big football game, and the other was on Martin Luther King weekend. A long weekend where people end up going out of town or doing stuff, and they're not, they're not home to watch a debate. They were purposely designed so that less people would be watching. Okay, so maybe that's not enough to convince you. Well, let's go through some of the information that we learned from the leaked DNC emails. Now, these headlines are all from heavy.com, but you can go and read these emails yourself. These headlines aren't subjective. They're just pure facts. And while I'm reading these, keep in mind that the DNC is supposed to be neutral. They're supposed to be treating Hillary Clinton and Bernie Sanders equally. DNC staffer pitches anti-Bernie story to communications director. DNC planned messages about Bernie being an atheist to hurt his chances of winning. An email leak showing DNC chair Wasserman Schultz saying it's silly that Sanders thinks he'll be president. And one of the ones that most of us know best, at the time, DNC vice chairwoman Donna Brazil acted as a mole for the Hillary Clinton campaign so she could pass them town hall questions against Bernie. And she was able to do that because she also worked for CNN and had access to those questions. But one of the big ones that doesn't really get covered as often is the fact that the DNC rescinded a ban on lobbyists and PAC donations in late 2015, just as Bernie Sanders began rising more in popularity, which then paved the way for the Hillary Victory Fund. And there's actually an entire political report on this. DNC sought to hide details of Clinton funding deal. Now, before I read a paragraph from this, it's important to, to know that Politico is, is like the most establishment corporatist outlet that you could possibly get. The, these are... These are the insiders of Washington. So like this isn't BernieBro.com. These are these are people who r really have an interest to support somebody like Hillary Clinton. And this is what they said. Between the creation of the Victory Fund in September and the end of last month, the fund had brought in $142 million, the lion's share of which, 44%, has wound up in the coffers of the DNC, $24.4 million, and Hillary for America, $37.6 million, according to a political analysis of FEC reports filed this month. By comparison, the analysis found that the state parties have kept less than $800,000 of all the cash brought in by the committee, or only 0.56%. So... 
essentially what what this is about is during the primaries there was this the Hillary Victory Fund which actually was a joint fundraising deal between the Hillary Clinton campaign and the DNC. The DNC, who are supposed to be neutral actors, were helping fundraise for Hillary Clinton specifically. And while the majority of that money was supposed to be going to the state parties, it actually just went to Hillary Clinton. Or as Hillary Clinton puts it, I inherit nothing from the Democratic Party. 